84 fights, 59 victories, and 25 losses. Again, very well matched. Similar age, similar fight record, and similar wins and losses as well. Satan Pop from Thailand, Num Sarin from Buriram, also in from is from Isan. And from South Isan. Buriram, Brokon Chai district to be exact, one of the most famous districts when it comes to producing great Muay Thai fighters. It's the only thing that does separate these two is the height differential. Where you've got Num Siam, 10 centimeters taller than his opponent, which of course could play a factor in this fight. And the black corner there, removing the Moncon, you can see Sir Salt Bankru. Used to be a Muay Thai fighter once upon a time. Used to fight at MBK Fight Night and I believe at Max Muay Thai yeah. as well. <laughs> That's two shows that me and Aaron were on and from and the very be beginning yeah, actually. Yeah. And if you've ever seen A Prayer Before Dawn, yeah. he was in that movie also. Un unsurprisingly. <laughs> which, used to, which also featured Jana John from the Muay Thai team, who used to be on the Muay Thai team, and Sayok as well. Well, that's exactly what he used to say back in the days when we were at the yeah. our, our, our previous shows. Nice tips there from Num Siam. Yes, a time pop coming from Bangkok City, Thailand, which is the most popular city in Thailand. But weirdly enough, you don't get much fighters Absolutely. actually coming from Bangkok City. So it really is welcoming and refreshing to see someone who's actually born and raised in Bangkok competing in Muay Thai. Tends to left high kick there from Num Siam. And we were wondering if that high differential, that reach, was going to play a part. Well, it seems like it is at the moment with tips and high kicks coming in. Fighting off the back foot. Yeah, seeing several fighters yeah, from yeah. the Saw Banku gym, and they have the sort of same style. They, they like to push forward, they like to go for that low kick. Attempted left hook there by Num Siam, and he, good ducking by Satan Pop. Wouldn't say they're the most technical fighters, but they like, like to get the job done early, let's <laughs> put it that way. Oh, beautiful left hook there from Satan Pop. But you can see already what Num Siam is trying to do. He's trying to Egimon is trying for him to move forward so he can then counter strike and use that length to his advantage. But the thing about Satan Pop is that he doesn't mind moving forward. He doesn't care. Not one bit. Oh, tempted flying knee there. I think he minded that a little bit though, Aaron. <laughs> Last thing anyone likes in a fight is receiving a flying knee. All left kicks in the body there from Num Siam. I'm gonna love the composure that we're seeing from Num Siam early on. Satan Pop has to be the aggressor, he has to push forward. He knows that he's gonna to have to walk through some strikes to get close to this taller fighter as well. Oh, swinging right hand there. Oh, nice uppercut from Num Siam. Yeah, unfortunately, he stopped attacking when he was in range for Num Siam to throw an uppercut. That's exactly what Num Siam did. Oh, good right hand over the top. I sat on pop and then that attempted high knee got a good knee to the body by Numsi and he feels like he's spotting a weakness by going back to the body. I think so too and it seems like Satan Pop is slowly breaking down. Knee again to the midsection. Interesting now to see if Numsi does go back to the body. We'll have to find out in the second round. End of round one. Welcome back to Thai Fight League. Let's have a look at the highlights from your third bout this evening. Satan Pop in the black corner and of course Num Siam in the white. Quite a close round, difficult to separate these two to be honest. You saw the aggressive style of Satan Pop willing to move forward, trying to get past the guard of Num Siam who defended rather well and was able to counter with some strike. But nothing really of note that separates these two of them. When he hurt Satan Pop by kneeing him in the midsection, attacking the midsection constantly, and you, you, you saw Satan Pop might, might have been slowly breaking down. We'll see what's to come in the second round here. All right, well, they have it. Kevin believes that Num Siam took the only round. How do you feel about it? Watching around the world on Thai Fight International. Good left kicks here to the body and going up high. And he might have just walked into an elbow there, Kevin. I'm not sure what maneuver he was trying to do there. 
why he stopped throwing those side kicks. They were working really well. I think he tried to go for an elbow, but <laughs> his body just stopped working. He just held down on top of his, his opponent. I think he, yeah, he attempted an elbow. I think he actually walked into one. Very unfortunate, but it does happen. Sometimes the brain thinks, but the body doesn't do. More left kicks going into the arms there. Oh, good right hand! And again, both fighters clash. One with the hand, one with an elbow. Again, beautiful kicks to the body as they both again throw right hands. I mean, because we've seen Numsea move back a couple of times, it, it really plays down how strong his chin really is. I've seen, we've seen him take some really hard shots so far in this fight. No, he has not. Trying to go for that elbow once again, but really recklessly, I must say. When you go for the elbow, you've got to be close. You've got to be composed. Keep balanced. And he's not do doing that with throwing one. I'm not sure it's necessary as well at the moment. It seems like every time he throws an elbow, he's putting himself in danger. Yeah, we've seen that already twice here in the second round. Back to the the ring to go. Takes a tiger up and there. From Satan Bob. Nearly hit the roof with that one. Not surprised to hear a Street Fighter reference here in Thai <laughs> Fight League. The right hand to the body by Satan Pop. I mean, Numsi have a taste of his own medicine there. Strong knees from Satan Pop. Of course, difficult for him being the shorter fighter. Again, that reckless elbow that you were talking about, Kevin. And he had his head completely oh, down. Oh, good right hand there. He's very, very lucky that as a time pop decided not to counter immediately. Well, if Numsiam won the up. Oh, stunning uppercut. That's much better. By Numsiam. And again, attacking the midsection, putting Satan Pop in a lot of trouble. Every time that Satan Pop does move forward, though, Numsiam is trying to grab a hold of him. Right hand. And again, Satan Pop swinging. Stuck on the ropes, and quite nice to see though that Satan Pop is still pushing forward despite being hurt a couple of times and not exactly blocking the kicks. Back into the clinch, he's there by Satan Pop. Oof, difficult again to separate them two. End of round two. Here we can see the highlights of the third round. Sorry, of the second round between Lumsiam in the white corner and Satan Pop in the black. I feel like we're all on agree alien agreement. Kevin, I, all the people who are watching on Thai Fight International, that this is one and one going into the third round. We feel like that Satan Pop did a lot more than Lumsiam in that second round. Yeah, and especially towards the end, I mean, I noticed that Lumsiam really started to slow down. Then again, I'm tempted to also give it to Lumsiam. Kicks in the midsection. But at the same time, really loved Satan Pop's work ethic in that round. Thought he connected with a lot of, a lot of shots. It's strange that you know you brought up the elbow point. It was almost like he was throwing elbows out of desperation, even though he was up. He didn't He'd have been to. fighting well. He really didn't have to. Alright, here we go. Third and final round. The only reason I could see is that he wanted to please the fans or he had a taxi waiting outside. <laughs> Both. Yeah, perhaps so. Alright, here we go. As we know, Bangkok here, we're not short on taxi, so don't think it's a worry. Oh, good solid punch to the midsection and to the head, and then Satan Pop goes in with elbows as well. Lovely knee to the midsection by Numsayam. Again, beautiful sniper like body shot there from Satan Pop, and then bows it up once again. Midsection and head. I'm beginning to think Numsayam is originally a boy cow. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. With that height as well. Yeah, I love that knee across the back. Really well done there from Gumseyam. Gumseyam on the back foot actually, waiting perhaps for Satan Pop to make some sort of mistake that he can capitalize on. But no! Instead, he waits for, for a beating. Yeah, roughly not allowing that pitch to go ahead. And referee Bunya on wants to keep the action going, and why not? Or excuse me, referee Puket. Again, Numsayam on the back foot. Tense moments. Very close fight. Overall, Satapop again looking for that right hand and a sneaky knee there. 
as the referee tries to separate them. But I say, I love that sneaky knee. And once again, going for that elbow, and he really te telegraphed that elbow, be pulling his arms back and throwing it. You can see that from a mile away, Aaron. Again, like you said, Lumsian looking for those knee strikes. The only difference is that Satan Pop is making it very difficult for him now. You can tell that Satan Pop definitely has a lot of fights under his belt. He has that experience. But as I said, sometimes the brain wants to do something and the body just doesn't let you do, let you do it just yet. A bit of a stalemate here in this third round. Good left knee there from Lumsian. That could be a difference maker. It really could be. To claim the round. Oh, nice push kick there from Lumsiam. Sends it up cut by Satan Pop, but doesn't have the pop, ironically, on it at the moment. <laughs> Not the last time we're going to make uh, that reference tonight. We have another pop fighting in the last match tonight, Aaron. Good left hand there from Lumsiam again. Looking like he's defending his position, like he already knows that this third round is his at the moment. Oh, he thinks. All right, end of the third round. Two very exhausted fighters out there. Satan Pop in the black corner and Numsiam in the white corner. I think that Numsiam, if I'm being honest, did enough in that. Away from Satan Pop, let's have a look at the highlights from that third round. It was due to those knees, I believe, that will separate Numsiam and get his hands raised. Satan Pop in the end, a little bit frustrated. He can hit with some hands, but not enough, I believe. But unofficially, I'm always wrong. So. And the winner is White Corner Numsayam of Burira.